Cable here with women's rowing head coach Eric Karsich the day before the 26th annual George Washington Invitational down on the Potomac River. Coach, it's one of the most exciting events of the year for you guys. How's the team feeling heading into tomorrow's event? There's always there's always a lot of good energy going into into GW Invite. We, you know, as we as we all know, it's our it's our one big uh, it's our one big show on the Potomac River. 10 minute walk from campus. You know, the athletes get to have their roommates come down to the boathouse and, and see what we do. You know, not many people get down to Thompson Boat Center in Washington Harbor that often. So to have this race, which is well publicized, well marketed on campus, you know, over a beautiful Friday and Saturday, which it looks like it's going to be, is it's a real exciting time for our, for our athletes. You guys won the event two years ago. What are the ex expectations going into this weekend? Uh, you know, it's going to be a tough, we have some tough races ahead of us. I'm not thinking about winning or losing right now. I'm thinking about uh, getting better every race we have. We have an 8-10 challenger in, in Duquesne uh, for Friday afternoon's uh, wave of racing. And so that's what I'm thinking about first is, you know, long-term May 4th 8-10 championships, you know, 8-10 competitors here in town, you know, we, we need to take care of our business on Friday and then move forward into Saturday morning racing where we're going to face a really deep, a really talented Navy crew that's coming back, probably the fastest Navy boat I've seen in years, um, is going to be racing, we'll race against them Saturday morning, wrapping up with our, our final race against MIT Saturday afternoon, which, you know, they've had the best of us for the last couple of years in the Varsity 8, so uh, I'm looking forward to this progression of racing. So the 26th year that this event's happening, what do you have in store for us this year? It's always great each year. You know, I think that what we have in store for the crowds is, is probably the best weather we've ever seen. I'll knock on wood if it's somewhere. Um, we're looking at almost 70 degree weather, winds calm, three, six mile per hour, winds are predicted. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a very busy scene on that Washington Harbor waterfront, which is exciting. It's exciting for the kids. You have the band coming down like always on the steps, you know, doing the, doing the, the fight song in the last 250 meters. Uh, the Jumbotron, as always, is gonna be up, uh, you know, a huge flat panel uh, TV up on the uh, on the boardwalk, and so um, there's going to be a lot of activity. And with the cherry blossoms in peak, you know, peak season right now, it's, I think they're they're peaking within the next couple of days. There's going to be a lot of activity, a big buzz down on that waterfront. A lot of people going out for for cruises. So I think a lot of people are going to get a sense of of rowing that have no idea what they're in, they're in for when they head down to the harbor this weekend. So it's exciting. It's nerve wracking. You know, it's uh, um, going to be, as a regatta director, uh, there's a lot of logistics that we're taking care of as we speak. So hopefully everything will go smooth and we'll have some good racing. Best of luck this weekend. We'll catch thank up you. with you on Saturday. All right. Thank you.